Stranger Things has been viewed for 1.35 billion hours worldwide. How could it not? There was a strong storyline, great acting, and insane CGI, bringing it all together. But turns out, the writers don't really do it all by themselves. In this video, we'll talk about how the writers have changed the story for Season 5 after hearing fan feedback for Season 4. So let's jump right into it. Starting off with how fan feedback changed Season 5. The highly anticipated fourth season of Netflix's Stranger Things was released earlier this year and certainly did not disappoint, with introducing Vecna, played by Jamie Campbell Bauer, as the season's big villain. Eleven had her hands full with a new powerful foe. The series was commended for its well-executed CGI sequences and ambitious narrative, but was criticized for having too many characters in different places. After four action-packed seasons, viewers will be left hanging as they anticipate more intense standoffs between Eleven and Vecna, and a satisfying conclusion to all the unanswered questions. But that doesn't mean the writing team is taking things slow. At the WG Festival 2022, the Duffer Brothers shared a few intriguing details about Stranger Things Season 5. Because of all the production delays caused by COVID, the brothers could fully outline the story for Season 4, and after it was released, the fans poured in their theories and suggestions. While the creators kept some elements the same, they changed others entirely, including the ending. Matt Duffer himself continued, A lot of the big ideas are the same, but the stuff that happens within, it's very different. It's clear that the Duffer brothers have thought about their story very carefully, and fans can expect plenty of surprises when Season 5 is released. Next up, how Season 4 paved the way for Season 5. The suspenseful finale of Stranger Things Things Season 4 ends with a major cliffhanger, as Hawkins becomes ground zero for an upside down incursion and the Mind Flayer is on the verge of being free to roam and terrorize in the real world. Vecna is likely to return in the upcoming season and could work together with the Mind Flayer to wreak havoc on Hawkins and possibly even beyond, which also puts Will in danger again. It'll be up to Eleven and her gang of friends to save Hawkins from destruction. Max, played by Sadie Sink, has become a beloved character since her debut in Stranger Things Season 2, but unfortunately, she suffered one of the series' most brutal endings in the finale of Season 4. Fans have been speculating if Max will be able to return to help fight Vecna during Season 5, with many believing that she may play a vital role in the battle against him. And well, she needs to come back for revenge too. We'll also get to see Hopper in action once again and see the whole story come to a close now that the whole gang is back together. Now for, did Stranger Things Season 4's ending kill the best upside down theory? Stranger Things has been closely tied to Dungeons and Dragons since its inception. At the start of Season 1, the young protagonists are introduced to playing D&D, and then Will Byers goes missing, and their lives become intertwined in a fantasy-like world not too different than that of D&D. The names of the monsters they encounter, such as the Demogorgon and Mind Flayer, are derived from the game's lore. This gave rise to a popular theory that Stranger Things was set in a D&D campaign that came to life, which seemed to be validated with each new season. However, this theory was tested in Season 4 when a new villain, Vecna, was introduced. Vecna is a spellcaster from D&D lore, and it seemed that this theory would be proven correct again. However, at the end of the season, it is revealed that Vecna is Henry Henry Creel, who was banished to the Upside Down by Eleven. This twist in the narrative may have debunked this popular theory about the connection between Stranger Things and Dungeons and Dragons. The subtle way D&D is woven throughout Stranger Things has had fans theorizing for years, and with each new season, it seemed as if these theories were being confirmed. However, the reveal at the end of Season 4 has led some to question whether this connection is as strong as we thought. Vecna's origin story might have just debunked the D&D storyline altogether. Reeling it back to, what is the Stranger Things upside down D&D theory? It's no secret that Stranger Things and Dungeons and Dragons go hand in hand, but could the upside down reflect D&D? The resemblance between Hawkins, Indiana, 
and D&D &D is uncanny, leading many to believe that there must be a connection between the two. Could it be possible that the monsters from Stranger Things are derived from D&D &D lore? The theory suggests that a D&D &D player created the Upside Down, and the creatures inhabiting it are inspired by D&D &D lore. It's even possible that Will Byers, who deeply loves D&D, &D, creates it, though unintentionally. With Will's wealth of knowledge about D&D, &D, it's no surprise that he could be connected to the mysterious world hidden in Hawkins. The only catch is that we now know, thanks to Season 4, that Young Eleven was the one to accidentally open a gate to the Upside Down and not Dungeons & Dragons. This doesn't mean that the creators haven't used the D&D &D theory, it might simply be part of the other parts of the show. Next up, why the D&D &D theory worked so well. Stranger Things is influenced by the classic game Dungeons & Dragons, or D&D. &D. In season 1 of the show, the Demogorgon that terrorizes Hawkins is based on D&D's version of the demon. Without actually showing its physical appearance, Stranger Things conveys Demogorgon's evil intent, a demon that brings chaos and destruction from the underworld. Season 2 of Stranger Things connects D&D &D to its upside down narrative by introducing the Mind Flayer, a monster with a dark, tentacled mouth that looks just like its D&D &D counterpart. It's no wonder Stranger Things has resonated so strongly with viewers. It has the perfect balance of adventure, mystery, and D&D &D roots. Had the theory not been debunked because of a trigger-happy 11, we might have gotten to explore the world of D&D &D in much more detail. Coming up, what Henry's backstory means for the Upside Down. The big reveal in Season 4 of Stranger Things left fans with many questions, especially when it comes to Vecna, or as we now know him, Henry Creel. We already knew the Mind Flayer was a terrifying force to be reckoned with, but we didn't expect the villain to take on a strangely familiar form with its long-limbed body and spider-like appearance. Turns out, there's an explanation for this. Henry is the one who shaped it into what we see today. This information throws a bit of a wrench into the D&D &D theory. Instead, we now have a much more real-world explanation that feels even creepier. Henry's obsession with spiders and his control over the Upside Down, it leaves us wondering just how far he could manipulate the alternate realm's environment and what other secrets it contains. Could it be that Henry is the real puppet master behind all the chaos in Hawkins? Well, there goes that fan theory. The Mind Flyer didn't come from a D&D &D player's wild imagination. This certainly adds an extra mystery about where the Mind Flayer and its minions came from. Was it something native to the Upside Down, or an alien entity that found a way into our world? We may never know, but one thing is for sure, the show got a lot spookier. Finally, could the writers still throw in the D&D theory? Everything we've already discussed in this video leads us to one question. Could that be the real D&D connection? If you think about it, Henry's story is very similar to Vecna, the powerful and terrifying spellcaster in D&D lore. Both went from being human to developing godlike powers and destroying everything in their path. The name, the powers, the mannerisms, they're all identical to the Vecna from D&D. So, even though the initial D&D player theory is no longer true, Stranger Things Season 4 has strengthened the connection between its villains and D&D lore. It has shown us that Vecna's design, power, and story all have a strong connection to the source material, which could suggest that there is more to this than we initially thought. And that's a wrap for today's video. Now that you know your fan feedback actually impacts the show, what would you suggest the writers do for season 5? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We'll see you at the next one.